Hi, my name is Kayla, and today I'm going to talk to you about endangered species and the effects that humans have on these animals. Since Earth began 4.5 billion years ago, there has been many reasons on its disappearances, such as Earth's climates, meteor impacts, and massive volcanism. All of these effects have had major impacts on the animals that live on Earth. Another big extinction problem is human activity, especially in the past century. Scientists have estimated that 10 to 100,000 species go extinct each year. This is on record that it is 100 to 1,000 times faster than historic extinction rates. When humans are involved in the extinction of other animals, it can be because of overhunting, overfishing, polluting the environment, destroying its habitats, and moving species in areas that they don't function well in. I have done numerous research on this topic and it seems as if every animal that is endangered is endangered because of human involvement. Some animals of this sort are the snow leopards, pandas, turtle, and gorillas. The snow leopard, which are estimated to be around 4,080 to 6,590, inhabit in the cold, rocky mountaintops across the high elevations of Central Asia, are starting to disappear because of humans, who are the leading cause of this through hunting, invading their habitat, and retaliatory killings. The giant panda, which are estimated to be 1,864 left in the wild, is the rarest bear species on the planet. They are only found in the mountains of western China. The pandas are going extinct highly due to the loss of habitat. Fortunately, they are on the rise due to conservation efforts around the world and strict hunting laws. These pandas were in danger from humans through hunting for their valuable furs. Another animal that is endangered are the hawksbill turtles. The name comes from its narrow beak. Their shells are very beautiful. However, their beautiful shells are one of the reasons why they are so endangered. Their shells are sold as part of the tourist trade. Loss of nesting over harvesting their eggs, polluting poaching, and bycatch are other reasons of why they are critically endangered. These turtles also aid coral reefs, which are a natural barrier protecting coastal cities, communities, and beaches. Next up on the list are mountain gorillas. There are about 800 of these species left on this planet. These gorillas live in high mountains of Africa, specifically the Congo Basin. Deforestation and growing human population are threatening the mountain gorilla. The mountain gorillas are moving to higher elevations due to humans moving into their territory causing these gorillas to be put in a more dangerous situation. As you can see, many of these animals are endangered because of humans, us. Many people don't care and decide to hide these certain facts from the public to promote their business or to continue their actions in hunting. But these people, in my opinion, are not dealing with the problem correctly. These animals keep our planet working. Plants and animals, including humans, depend on each other as well as microorganisms, land, water, and climate 
to or keep our entire system alive and well. Remove one piece, one species, and a small changes lead to big problems that aren't easy to fix. Here's what we can do. We can make a change. Recycle and buy sustainable products. When you do this, you don't need to buy furniture made of wood to from rainforests or endangered trees. And when you recycle and reuse, you promote the whole ideal of reusing stuff and not putting your waste in a place where it can put other species in danger. Statistically speaking, recycling is important. Over 100,000 marine animals die every year from plastic entanglement or ingestion. For example, I watched a video where a straw killed a turtle. Never purchase project products made from threatened or endangered species. This will encourage this party to continue their actions. Another way to start with where you live and make sure the species around you have a protected and healthy place they can live. Make sure to get involved with specific conservations to maintain and continue their involvement in stopping humans from continuing their species to go endangered or extinct. Many people will say that these methods won't work because we need to eat meat to survive or no one person will make a difference. That you will need everyone to follow these rules in order to actually work. But I feel like all it takes is one person to make the difference. One person can influence many people to do what they think is right and ethical. Media and other types of organizations don't have a big marketing on this and it takes a long time to make a big change like this. But as long as we start someday, all together, things will get better. Just look at these pictures of animals dying due to human activity. It may be hard to see these pictures, but this is the reality of the matter. Many animals are dying and are starting to enter the group of extinction because of how careless humans can get. But if you follow these steps to reduce involvement in the human activities that are killing many animals, then many people will look up to you as an example and follow your footsteps. So just remember, human activity has a huge impact on extinction with animals and has been a leading factor in the past century. Now that you have this information, it is time to discover what you can do around your community. How you can reduce the amount of endangered species in the world. It is best to start on this action right away because the sympathy and compassion that we all have within ourselves should be encouraging you too. If you don't then, you'll most likely forget about this information and most likely endangered species will become extinct. For example, this is what I did. A company called SandCloud Towels where they give 10% of profit to help marine life and so I'm going to show you the website. So yeah, so 10% of its profit will help marine life and I'll put all of these links in the description. Actually, I am an ambassador for this company and they have all these different things like towels for the beach, clothing, and I just think that everyone should purchase here if they want to buy anything just to help marine life in any way. And I have this necklace. I'll show you where it is. That I wear every day. It is a sea turtle. 
well it's kind of like this but it's a sea turtle and they don't, I guess they're out of stock but I got it about two years ago and it kind of looks like this but it's a sea turtle and I wear it and it reminds me and others when they see it to always save the fishies I guess that's their logo that it is on the back of it I'll show you oh see that's mine like right there and then on the back of the turtle it says save the fishies and the ocean has always been a big part of my life so I guess this topic is really really close to my heart and so yeah. in conclusion society doesn't provide this information to the public as much as they should with many animals being endangered there's a chance of them being extinct which has a negative effect on our planet's function. Things like recycling, joining conservations, helping locally to build habitats for animals that don't live in a healthy environment does so much. And all of this kindness will come back because every animal, whether it's big or small, plays a huge part in our ecosystem. Each person counts, so spread the word and do your part to help maintain and keep our planet going. And most importantly, if you truly do believe in this, then make your thoughts come to reality.